कुछ नहीं मिला है एक्सक्यूज मी हमारे पीछे आ जाओ एक खड़ी कर दो ये मार्केट चेयर होती है ना मार्केट चेयर होती है ये नहीं तो बोलो साइज भी 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 वीडियो Being happy is easy. You just need to say no to a few things and yes to some others. Like yaar, no to shortcuts. Yes to responsibility. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes to caring. Can I? No to pesticide farming farms that make farmers sick. Yes to organic farms that help conserve water. No to GMO cotton that make farmers dependent. Yes, the principles which improve the livelihood of farmers. No to teas. Yes, to happy teas. Happy teas from cotton wool. A range of t-shirts made with 100% organic cotton. Which wears how you feel. Yes, to shopping. 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 Yes,
uh, they never ask anything unreasonable of me, and I pretty much agree with with uh, their point of view and their philosophy. So it's uh, really great. I think that they've started with happy teas. It's just a first step into a, a future of sustainability. I think uh, they have started with this uh, men's line, but they will eventually get to a point where they want all their products to be sustainable. Uh, we shot uh, over there, and it was a really intense day, I think. No, we, 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 we had to leave from Nagpur and drive four hours to get there. Um, very, very early in the morning to get the, 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 the right light and everything. But uh, the farmers were amazing, very shy, extremely shy to be sh shooting. So we had to like get them to talk to us a little bit and uh, you know, just like be a bit relaxed. Uncle, I was giving him a massage because he just he was like, like he didn't know what to do on, uh, in front of the camera. So um, it was, they, they had a great time I think and I think what uh, Chetna Vikas as an NGO is doing is, is fabulous. Uh, helping uh, farmers also understand the long-term uh, future of farming. So, uh, you know, I think we 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 have this uh, burden here of often buying cheap pesticides, which are rejects from the West. You know, uh, pesticides which are actually been banned already in the West are being sold cheaply in 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 developing countries. So. Uh, to stop that and to stop GMO uh, cotton, which uh, in in the long term is not sustainable and takes up a lot of water, um, it's really important that people understand organic fam farming uh, as as a future way of uh, working in our country, especially cotton farming, because we have a country with one of the most uh, high cotton farming uh, products production in the world. So yeah. All this is uh, wonderful. It's small steps, but I think that everything in life that's worth it happens through small steps. So, really glad to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kalki. Um, um, if you guys have any questions uh, for uh, Laveen and Kalki, uh, now would be the time. Good to you, good to see you, Kalki. You know, what is the first reaction the moment, the moment Cotton World approached you for this initiative? It's a, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic initiative, especially for the farmers. What is your first reaction? I mean, I was thrilled. I said yes. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a... As I said, I think the philosophy of Cotton World goes very well with my philosophies. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously I wanted to know more about the NGO and how they're working with these farmers. Uh, but yes, I completely agree with the project and really happy to be part of it. Okay, Kalki was always there in your mind. You want Kalki to be a part of it and... Yeah, we basically I think uh, Kalki is a perfect fit because she kind of uh, very vocal about what she believes in and we've been a brand like that for 30 years. We've been very, you know, sure that we only want to do natural targets and nothing else. So it's always been, I mean, it was a perfect fit for us. Also, now we know each other because we've been working together for more than a year. Yeah, so, you know, we have regular interactions. No, very honestly, myself, I didn't kill Gaiti. So I didn't have time to go and visit the villages and things. Uh, but of course, we all know about the difficulty that farmers are facing at the moment, uh, the, the kind of heavy loans that they are having to deal with. And, uh, and I think that it's really important for, for NGOs to, to educate uh, people on the sustainable angle because that's what's going to change things in the long run. Yeah. Uh, we might find quick solutions in the meantime, but the important thing is that in the long term, uh, we don't destroy our farmers' lives and their lands. Okay, there are so many things happening in India, you know, when you talk about farmer, there's suicide, there's suicide number of number of suicide is happening, you know. Though you, you, you are associating yourself with cotton wool, which is, I'm, I'm repeating myself, it's fantastic, you know. But do you, what method do you, do you want to give to the farmer, who, you know, who are in, in depth of loan or there's so many problems they're facing? What will be your message to the farmer? I don't think I'm in any position to give a message. I think it's an extremely tough life uh, and a lot of farmers are put into a 
a corner in which they have very little choice. Uh, only recently I read about a family that burned themselves in the collector's office or something. So uh, yeah, I, I, I just hope that all of us can take, I think it's about each one of us. We shouldn't be telling farmers what to do. We should be doing something. Each of us has a responsibility in the things that we buy, in the things that we choose to consume. Uh, none of us are, are pure, perfect human beings. I have a lot of products which are harmful for the environment, which are harmful. But I'm slowly trying to understand where I can change my lifestyle, where it's not going to you know, drastically affect me, uh, where I can afford to buy something which is a little, might be a little more expensive, but is, is helping somebody, yeah. You know, you, you started this, uh, this initiative where you know you are avoiding GMO farming. You know, where they will be saving more, more of water. Uh, is there is there anything behind the pipeline where you know the cotton world some amount will go to, to the to the families who have done suicide or who are suffering? Is there something then? There's nothing like that, but as I said, we've tied up with Chetna Vikas, and they are basically, they have probably over 120 villages under their, uh, you know, who they're helping, and probably about 20,000 total people. So they actually teach them how to organically farm, how to actually grow food on that same farm, because they're not using pesticides, so they can actually eat, they don't have to spend money on food, and it just helps the soil. So in the long run, I mean, we're not giving it individually to them, we're giving it to the NGO. And they've been around for about 30 years, and we actually visited them, saw everything that they do, and they're doing a fantastic job. Tell me how easy or difficult to be there in the early morning food or early morning event? <laughs> I'm not the best early morning person, for sure. Especially when early morning means like 4 or 5 in the morning. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, the beautiful light that you get at 6 a.m. is irreplaceable. So, yeah, the photographers are always very happy. Okay, after GLDA, what's next? What's happening with the photographers? Ribbon, right now. Please go watch it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, if you guys want any photos with Kalki and Davin, uh, we can take them now. Thank you. 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 Thank you.